Hello adventurers, Melron here. Classic WoW is iconic because of its immersive world, mysterious dungeons, intense PvP, and social community. These aspects are what drive so many of us to venture back once again. However, there are many locations in Classic Azeroth that go untraversed, unseen, or even underappreciated. Some of these places are in plain sight, while others require some digging. This series' aim is to illustrate that there is no need to rush your Classic WoW experience and to stop and smell the roses from time to time. Welcome to Classic WoW Gems. Greetings, adventurers. Before I go any further, I'd like to say, no, I haven't gone crazy. Of course I know you cannot play Pandaren in Classic WoW, and honestly, let's just say I like things that way. However, it's my opinion that there are some little Easter eggs that point to the existence of the Pandaren race in Classic Azeroth. Now, this isn't the first time we were introduced to Pandaren in the WoW universe, as Chen Storm's Doubt made a small appearance in Warcraft 3. But, that's not where things end, in my opinion. Aside from Chen's empty keg, which you can find in the Barrens for a short quest chain available to the Horde, there are some less apparent nods to the Pandaren. However, I must state that it is my opinion that these hidden gems are related to the Pandaren. I could be totally off base here, but allow me to show you what I mean. On the western shores of Kalimdor in Ashenvale, and on the eastern shore of the Eastern Kingdoms in Swamp of Sorrows, lie the skeletal remains of large turtles. But what makes these turtles so interesting are the pagoda-shaped structures affixed to the remains of their shells. Now I will ask you all, what is the first thought that pops in your mind? If you are like me, you probably just wave these off at first glance, or maybe immediately thought they were night elf in origin. But upon closer inspection, and studying the design of the roof of the pagoda structure, I think I may have another explanation. But make sure those tinfoil hats are securely tightened on your heads for this one. What if these remains are Pandaren in origin? If you've ever played Missa Pandaria, then you probably know that the Pandaren racial mount is a turtle. Now these mounts do not have a roof on them, but as far as we know, Pandaren are the only race that use turtles as a mount in the Warcraft universe. What if these mounts were used for large-scale aquatic expeditions? The enormous size of these turtles and the elaborate style of the saddle structure seem to allude to this use. I mean, imagine being on an open sea and not having a roof over your head to block out the glaring sun or rain. But many questions still remain. Why did these turtles die? How did they die? Were the Pandaren attacked by Murlocs or Naga? Did the Pandaren themselves survive? How long ago could have this exodus happened? Did Pandaren build the beautifully ornate bridge that is unique in all of World of Warcraft in Swamp of Sorrows? And perhaps most importantly, how did these turtles end up on both continents? We know that Pandaria exists between Kalimdor and the Eastern Kingdoms. Therefore, both the skeletal remains in Ashenvale and in the Swamp of Sorrows don't really make sense, as they are on the opposite ends of where you would think they would land. The only two explanations I can come up with are that one, the continent of Pandaria itself originally was planned to be on the other side of Azeroth, or two, maybe storms through these expeditionary groups of Pandaren astray, leading them to land somewhere far off course. Both of these possible conclusions just spawn new questions. The mystery deepens. However, there is one final theory that I have, that these are truly Night Elven origin. The same pagoda structure is seen in Night Elven architecture throughout Azeroth but we don't really see any links with turtles and the elves in the lore, at least in my experience. At the end of the day, I think it comes to opinion, really. Maybe the devs wanted the players to know that Pandaren exists somewhere beyond the Great Seas of Azeroth, or maybe they wanted the player to realize the immense history of the world, that things occurred much earlier than the events of Warcraft 1. The jury is still out. However, what I can be certain of is that these artifacts are definitely worth checking out in Classic WoW. Formulate your own opinions, and let me know in the comments section below what you think these remains mean, and who used these turtles to brave the seas of Azeroth. Here's another example why you should stop and smell the roses sometimes in Classic WoW. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Classic WoW Gems. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the next Classic WoW Gems. In the meantime, don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video. And be on the lookout for new Def Camp Melderon TV content by subscribing. And thank you patrons for making videos like this one possible. Keep on keybonding and grinding, baby. I hope to see you in Classic Azeroth.
Greetings adventurers, Melderon here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support some official Def Camp Melderon t-shirts and hoodies, head on over to Brandung Media's Def Camp Melderon TV merchandise website. The link is in the description below.